Hi everyone, welcome to week number four class. Uh, this week is your Pracy week, so I just wanted to give a quick announcement. Um, the focus of this week is just to read the book and write uh, your Pracy on the book. Let me give you a few tips on how to write a successful Pracy for this class. Whether you've written one for another class or not, here's kind of what I'm looking for. First thing is, on the syllabus, you have a choice of five books, um, which I've outlined before in a couple of announcements, but Earth Community, Earth Ethics by Larry Rasmussen is a book on ecological ethics. Sex, Gender, and uh, Christian Ethics is by Lisa Cahill, a Catholic social ethicist. Um, uh, let's see. To Change the World by James Hunter, which is a book on uh, the church's mission in the world, especially as it relates to politics. And then uh, Strength of Love by Martin Luther King Jr. And finally, Bonhoeffer's Black Jesus by Reggie Williams. So you can choose one of those five books to read and write a precy. When you write your precy, it's three pages, double space, 12 point font, normal margins. You don't have to have footnotes, like I said before. You don't have to have a title page just three pages of prose. Um, what I'm looking for is as we outlined or as I outlined in the little scribe lecture on tradition, I'm looking for your ability to understand the author's argument in your own words. And so this assignment is a strict summary of the book. Don't give any value judgments. So for example, let's say you're reading Bonhoeffer's Black Jesus and you begin, uh, in Reggie Williams' excellent work, Bonhoeffer's Black Jesus, that's a value judgment that you've just placed on his book by uh, calling it excellent. I don't want you to do that. I want you to spend your time and your words on summarizing the author's argument. Um, you, What you want to do is show that you understand it in such a way that if, let's say, Reggie was uh, reading your book, are reading your precy, he said, yeah, you understand my book. So uh, one of the most common mistakes that people make when they're writing a precy is to use too many quotations from the book. So what I would like you to do is uh, probably no more, just a suggested guideline, no more than three quotations for your entire paper. Usually what happens if there's more than that, then it's a signal to me that you don't quite understand the argument, and so you're using the author's words to articulate the argument. You want to use a quotation to make your particular summary pop. In other words, you're saying something um, about the book, you're uh, summarizing his argument, and then here, boom, you have a uh, quotation from the book that highlights the point that you're trying to make. And you want those uh, few and far between in order for them to be the most powerful. So that is the first thing. Uh, first thing, uh, don't make value judgments. Second thing is uh, to be careful with the use of quotations. And then the third thing is you should watch out for uh, using passive sentences and uh, try to avoid those as much as possible. So for example, uh, I am mowing the lawn is an active sentence. The lawn was mowed by me is a passive sentence. Um, and so you want to be really careful using passive sentences. One, they're not very strong at all. And then two, uh, you want to make sure that the subject is actually acting on the object in your paper. And so the only part that I want to be careful with is if you're writing on Bonhoeffer's Black Jesus, uh, Bonhoeffer's change is was a passive change in other in other words the culture was acting on him and he was receiving it and he was beginning to be transformed he didn't set out to be transformed in the way that he was when he came from germany and so uh in in one way his was a passive transformation and so uh just know basically try to use as many active sentences as possible and then uh when it's passive, then use a passive uh, passive voice. Okay, I think that's the main thing. This is due by Friday. I might have put 5 p.m. on Friday, but it's uh, due at 11.59, right before midnight Pacific uh, Standard Time. So you have all the way until Friday to turn in your papers, and then we'll be grading them uh, next week, Charlotte and I. 
So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, oh, one other caution is I tend to grade things. When you get them back, you'll have a lot of comments on them, especially if I'm doing the grading. That's to help you uh, maybe improve your writing in some areas or to improve your argument in other areas or to point out maybe, hey, this is something to think about as it relates to the point that you're trying to make. So don't be surprised by that. And I am uh, somewhat of a difficult grader, or at least that's what people have told me. I don't really think that I am, but that's what people have told me. So um, if you have the choice, I'm finished, or maybe my paper could use one more edit, choose one more edit. And if, like uh, sometimes I get with my own work, I just get tired of reading things and I can't pick up little mistakes and those kinds of things, then see if someone in the class or one of your friends uh, will look at your paper and just read it over for you for even if they don't know the content for grammatical errors or those kinds of things. So uh, the, that's the key to good writing anyway is edit, edit, edit. So there you go. That's the Pracy assignment. That's all you have to focus on for this week. I would suggest even if you might be a little bit behind from weeks one, two, and three that you uh, just focus on this particular assignment this week and then you can always catch up in week number five. Week number five will be a little lighter reading um, just for recovery and uh, to give yourself a little bit of rest midweek as we kind of pivot in the class to move from theory uh, to more of, let's, let's begin to tease these theories out in practice. So there you go, that's the uh, Pracy assignment. I'm looking forward to reading your papers. I really enjoy them. Learn something new about each of the books that, you, um, that you're write on, writing on. You all pick up on interesting facts and interesting uh, parts of the argument that I might not have considered. So I enjoy reading them. Looking forward to uh, what you put on paper and, uh, and giving an opportunity to begin to apply the things that we've talked about. Okay, have a great week. And if you have any questions, as always, just uh, drop me a text. Shoot me an email, give me a call. I'm uh, available all week for that. Thanks. Have a great week.